Welcome back to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband Prophecy of Pandor 3.6. What have we done? We had a complete Let's Play only playing in the arena. We got level ups a lot and that's good for us. And we have some points to give. The question is where to invest them. I think 200 weapons are useful for us. And pole arms. And I will put them on int. Because then we have points here to give where we need them. So pathfinding is important. In vector marriage could be important, but I think trade might help us. Or, more better, we keep the points for the moment and invest them later when we have a skill boost that we can use them. So, what we can do, let's check the inventory. Where we have to go is to the training field. The problem is we can be... No, 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 no. We do something completely different. How much money do we have? Uh, tell you what. It sounds hard, but we will go back to the arena for so many fights that we can buy our first uh, settlement here, our first business here. We need 4,500 for that. That's what I'm planning to buy. And when we got the money for that, then we can leave. So. Very good. One more and we have 50 denarii back. We have 50 denarii. Give me one bow and we're pretty much at what we need in money. Whoa, that was close to our head. He's aiming for our head, that bad, bad person. Hey, here I am. Come to me. Very good. Use the range of your weapon. We've got 100 denarii! Well, I don't care. So... Oh no, we've got a stick again. I really hate stick fighting. That's absolutely not my style. Damn it. So. Yeah, you are the three stooges, are you? Oh, come on, from behind, that's not nice. Yes, those bastards. And why are they shooting at me primarily? This makes no sense. I'm not the bad guy here. One more, one more, and we've got 50 denarii. One more! Well, 50 denarii or 50 denarii.
I get the bow and I'm going to blow it. Is this believable? Oh no! What is my mouse doing? A bow is a nearly 100 guarantee for 100 denarii and I'm blowing it. Come on, you can do it. 100 denarii. It's not that hard. It's just aiming and shooting. 100 denarii, come on. That was not good. That is terrible. Why he did die by two shots, I do not know really. Why do all have shields now? Oh, this is not good. Oh, damn it. That was close. And I ruined it. 200? That might be enough. Let's speak to the guild master. We want to buy a productive enterprise. What is that? That is something that all every week this gives you some money. These are different types of investments you can do, you can buy, and they give you money every turn, uh, every week, but this differs. So it goes up, it goes down, depending on how um, the economy is developing. And each has a different output. You see what you invest and what you get out. And so you must try to find what you can afford and what gives you the best outcome in money. So that is very cheap but it does not give very money, uh, much money. We cannot afford that. We cannot afford that. So we take that one. So I think we're out of money now. We have 156 gold pieces. The question is where to go now? We can try to attack the desperate outcasts, but that is dangerous. On the other hand, we do not have uh, much to lose at the moment, so we can attack them regardless. Tell you what. No, we're not. Or are we in for prisoners? Well, we can try. Okay. What does that mean? These guys are running around trying to attack us. They are uh, six, so we have a battle advantage about uh, minus five, because they are, well, five more than we are. If we have a high enough tactic skill, one of their troops will be placed in reserve, which in the return would mean always beware of pig stickers. This man with the pig sticks, with the um, uh, with the staffs, are the most dangerous because they can kill your horse with that pig. 
And that is very, very painful. You see, we get 40% bonus when we uh, attack them with the horse because we get a speed bonus. If we had a faster horse, we would do more damage. And we always stay out of reach of the pig sticker. The pig sticker is bad. So, he's running, why? Because his moral failed. No, he just tried to trick us in thinking that his moral failed. And we got him down. So, let's assume we want a weapon of the person that's lying on the ground. We can now pick it up. And then we can fight with the weapon of the fallen one. If we get out of arrows and we have slain an enemy bowman, we can ride to his uh, body and try to pick up... No, uh, was it for a moment? The uh, arrows and the bow. And so on. This might be very helpful. Remember that. Second thing to remember, always keep moving. Napoleon said movement is the key to victory. And that's simply it. Keep on moving and you keep on living. Stop moving and you stop living. So, what is this? We have no casualties, no wonder we won. And we're only one person. So if we ha would have one wounded, we would, ha would not have won. And we have wounded five outcasts and one bandit, which means, which means that we can take them prisoners now. You see, we can take 20 prisoners, and now we've got them as prisoners. What is good on that? Yes, that's very good, because we can sell them for slavery. Yeah, slavery, the bad thing, but good for us. What do they have? They have food, and they have cloth. We do not need the cloth, but we can sell it, and the weapons. And as we have no head armor, we now have. So, you see, we get extra experience for kicking their asses. And now we go back to the arms market and we sell their stuff. Because you see, our armor is better than their armor. Weapons. Different kinds of damage. You see, this has swing, B, which means blunt damage. This has C, uh, cutting or P, piercing damage. That's important if you want to... Um, Ignore armor, for example. I keep some arrows for bad times. You will later on see why. So we sell all the stuff. And we have money. So, let's go to the training field. We can make a ranged, uh, ranged weapons practice. How does that work? We say OK. And then we have to shoot all the targets on the stuffs. See? Better not miss one. How is shooting working? When you press your shift button, it zooms in. That's very important for shooting. And uh, you are firing in a trajectory. So always aim a little bit above where you want to hit. like this. And also you're getting experience points for that, no wonder. The better you do, the more experience you get. See? Perfect round. And 40 experience. And you can do that at nearly every distance. The only problem is, with increasing distance, you will not hit as much. Oh, we missed one shot. So, but besides that... We are doing quite fine. Well, not perfect, but okay. 
the same can be done with uh, horseback practice for example 100 100 weapons then we will ride and try to hit as many targets as we can using our mace well you better do it better than I do it in theory you should do that moving and much faster than I do that. I'm uh, not that good at it. Did I say I'm horrible? I should have said I'm horrible because actually I am as you see. Well, what the hell. Give them hell! Or at least make them uncomfortable. Is that possible? It has been moving. Damn it! Stop moving. Oh, I'm so bad. That was actually not that bad. I was nearly thinking about a serious. Think that as heads of your enemy. Oh, damn it, I missed one. Well, not that good. Now let's speak to the trainer. There's one special thing. When you go to the training facility, you can fight against three warriors of each types. He tells you how you can defend yourself. So, what is there to know? You can fight against three targets and you will have to beat three in a row to get to the next level. So, for example, we now beat up a novice fighter. Next thing we will have to face... Now we're down. Now we have to start from scratch. Means, if we break the row, if we... Uh, fail against one of them we'll have to start again three in a row must be complete without losing and we start from the scratch well, we're simply not good at the moment, are we? Yeah! Good one. And if you complete that, you will get extra experience points. You see, now we've got all the uh, all the novice fighters down. So next level will be we get 100 experience points. So that's also a good a good thing to start. Oops. Okay. Um, we're still fighting regulars now. Yeah, you noticed that. Did we have a chance? Perhaps if we get the right weapon. Ha <laughs> ha! And there are worth 13 experience points in type. So, this is also something you can do in the beginning very easily.
so one more please oh damn it that was short but staff is not my weapon simply Hey! That was not nice. Damn it. Okay, I see we have no chance here. We are just not good enough for our f battle skills at the moment. We will ride to Wallon Bray. Or at least we will try to go this way. Our speed is 6.8, so we're pretty fast. They're outcast, and I think we can beat the crap out of them, and so we do. We must be careful because they have bows and they have pikes, spears. Bows we do not like because they can shoot us from the horseback, and a bow, uh, pikes we do not like because they can kill our horses. And now where the hell are they? I do not see them. They must be here somewhere. Oh, there they are. They are already starting to shoot us. <laughs> oh god, they all have pikes with them. We must be very careful about the pikes. The pikes tend to be very dangerous for us. But we got them all and we do not get a single hit in return. Very good. And we have even more prisoners. And every one of them is worth a good amount of money. The loot is quite bad. And you see, the rel uh, relation with them decreases. So if you fight against someone and win against him, uh, they do not like you very much. Well, that's obvious. Um, why is that important? So, for example, if you are fighting, if you see two parties fighting, Yes, they are fighting against each other, the different types of uh, ta um, factions. For example, there are the... Um, what, are the let, let, what example may I give you? Oh, that was bad. We must watch ourselves, really. They have two with pig stickers. Now they have still one with a pig sticker. Now they have one with... We've got them all. Good thing. But we're rounded. And it takes a long time to heal. That's the problem. And we have no room, so we must drop some of the not-so-good items to make room for the ooh, good items. So, okay. We're nearly complete with prisoners. Oh, you see that? They are fighting. But we will not intervene here, because when we join that fight, it's very likely that we're going to lose. So now we can join because here are fighting Ravenstein Renegade Knights against uh, a whole army of the Fettisvein. And I tell you one thing, the Green Party will win and as we are near we will be on the winning side. That's our plan. 
So we join the Lord. What is the effect? The Renegan Ravenstein Knights will hate us even more, but they hate us already, so what the hell? And this one will like us more. Only important thing, we must stay on the back. So. We must be very, very careful. These renegade knights are very, very dangerous, especially as they have Highlanders with them. What are Highlanders, you might ask? Tell you. Highlanders are people with heavy armor and two hunted weapons. Okay. You see that? These are Highlanders. They really know their job. This is a fetish by an army. You see, they are not very well equipped. No heavy armors, but big shields, big axes, and that's what they're good at. They're not the best armored people, but they are the best ground fighting people. They do not have good cavalry. They do not have any cavalry to be honest. So, so he likes us. He thanks us for helping him. We were not a real help but who cares. And he asks who we are and he will remember us. Next time we meet him he will remember this battle. So now we could recruit troops of the prisoners if we want but we have no need for them they are all pretty much useless for us and for that reason we do not take them with us we do not get any money well we do not get any experience that's no wonder because we did not kill anyone this is not good they hate us and they will try to kill us if they see us but as you can see they have not seen us they're riding riding in a different direction this is a landing point. What does that mean? There we can make a little side quest, you might say, a little side movement, which means there we can fight on the ground against uh, Vikings, but believe me, they are terribly strong. They are so strong, we do not stand a chance. Oh, wait a minute. The good arrows we can keep. Always keep the good arrows and always sell the food you do not need. It's worth good money. So, do they have anything we could use? They have a good bow, but we do not have money to buy that bow. So, no, that's not an option. Good, okay. We cannot use that pole arm. 200 chipped maize we cannot use. So, we're okay here. Let's look at the armors. If there is a armor for a reasonable price. No, we cannot afford any armor at the moment. Horses. Our horse is good and we cannot afford any good, any better horses. And goods. Oh, they have grain. We always buy the grain. So, let's go to the tavern. Let's see. As you know, what will you do when you enter the tavern? Right. Shields up. Mace up, ready. These are spearmen. You can uh, recruit them. This is a hero. It's Sir Rain. Later on he will join our party. We like this guy. But at the moment we cannot pay him. This is Fayas the Digit. He is the one with the elixir of the Archon. We will have use for him, I hope. And let's have a look up here. No, that does not look like a drunken one. No. It's a person who can tell us things, but he has no gossip at the moment, sad for us. And now I will show you something very, very special. Our first, there are two in this game. One is in Wall on Bray, one is in Rain. And in this chest there is either a Quadis game at the beginning, or some treasures with a lot of money. And believe me, we can use that money at the moment. But I hope for the gem, to be real honest. 
And it is. Fingers crossed. Uh, no, that is very, very poor. I hoped for a lot more. Before we sell that, we should rise our trade skill. Because then we get more for it. But we will not get as much for it as we need. So, that is not good. We do not have the money we need to open a business here. We could go to the arena. We do not need that much more experience to get on, on one level. So that is an option for us at the moment. To go back to the arena and do some more arena fighting. We cannot, ki uh, we cannot kill that one. They are heavily armed and well trained. We're no match for them at this moment. Other thing we can do, we can ride to Adelaine and try, try to get a quest there that we can solve. Not sure we can do that. Um, I think we stay here and go to the arena. Oh no, we've got a bad weapon again. But at last we're a little bit better in fighting now. Let's give them hell. Oh damn you. I don't need a stick, I need a bow. I need it terrible, I need it so. Damn you! What do you think you're doing here? The question is, what should we do with one level up? We can rise int to 12 which will enable us perhaps to hmm horrible this way we're not getting anywhere we need a bow we need it so Damn it! Stop that and give me a bow! I swear you, the moment he gives me the bow, he places me in a position between all the targets that I can do nothing. What should I do against three? Damn it. I know life's not fair. Deal with it. And we'll do. And we're down again. Come on. Horribly failing part 100, I do not know. Come on. And we're down again. 
Okay, I get it. This is senseless. We're getting nowhere this way. Okay, so what can we do? We can try to get a quest. And we must move carefully. We're on in dangerous territories. Oh, this looks good. You can attack them. The problem is we attack them in the woods, so the territory would not be that good for our hit and run tactics with our horse as we normally do them. And again you can bet your ass off that they will have pig stickers with them. You see when we ride up a hill we are slowed down. Okay. They have two bowmen with them. Oh, I do not believe I missed that. I'm a moron of biblical proportions. I'm going to ruin this by my greed. I always ruin my games by my greed. Watch my lips place every time I get greedy. I die. Without any reason I get greedy. They blocked my attack! May they rot in hell. Well this was not a real attack, this was very sad. And we're level 5! All hail the level 5 hero! Thank you sir, thank you, thank you, thank you, the horse too. So, okay. Let's, oh, we reached our capacity. We must sell prisoners soon. Is that a better hat than the one? Oh yeah! And it even looks better. Done. Whoa, 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 whoa. We must be very careful. This is totally not good. The problem is with all these prisoners, we are getting slower. So, let's go to the marketplace. Let's sell stuff. The arrows we keep. The money is pretty much worthless. Oh, there is a drunk. See that? We need our sword. I hope he's still there. Does not look that way to me. Oh yes he is. There is the drunk. We let him attack first. And we did it! And we got a sword, and we got denaris, and we got everything we need. Well, it's not worth much, but we'll take it. So, the problem is, we're now followed by these guys, and they are fast. We're not that fast, because we have prisoners on foot. You see, we have 3.7, they have 3.6. So we're not fast enough to outrun them. And this is a very, very, very dangerous territory to move in. We move to Quay, speak to the village elder and ask for... Oh no, I think we're attacked. No. <laughs> uh, no, he wants us to bring some cattle in. That is dangerous because we cannot protect the cattle at the moment. 
we try to avoid any further contact with enemies regardless of type why because at the moment we cannot take any more prisoners uh, no we do not guard prisoners uh, we do not guard persons we cannot even guard ourselves see that that is a black coven they might not be many but they are very very dangerous a heretic invoker and heretic magnus are heavily armed riding killing machines do not i repeat do not attack them you will not survive that we go to kulum speak to the elder ask for a quest no we're not escorting but we can buy that. What was there? Outcasts again. Well, our inventory is empty. We can kill outcasts at the moment. And we keep the sword because we cannot take any more prisoners. And the sword does more, much more damage than our noble weapon. And as we cannot take any more prisoners, we will play this a more safe way. What does that mean? That means we will try to kill them with a crossbow, except for the ones using bows. Some of them are using bows, as you can see. Oh, I'm a moron. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so idiotic. So, now, let's do this the safe way. This is even good training. Ride, hold, aim, Steady, shoot, ride, hold, aim, steady, shoot, ride, hold, aim, steady, shoot. So, what is there to know? This a battlefield has um, restrictions. You cannot ride as far as you want. After a while, you will run against an invisible wall. Then you're stuck there. If someone's riding right behind you with a lance, he will kill you with ease. So try to stay away from the edges and the ends of the battlefield. This can be used to your advantage on the other hand. The computer target try is it possible? The computer tends to be stuck at the walls, the invisible walls, the ends of this battlefield. So what you can do is that you run uh, right to the wall and then turn hard left or right and the enemy will crash into the wall and be stuck there for a few seconds this may give you time if you want to change weapons on the battlefield you can go to your chest and open it and then you can change weapons if you want so we have the loot better than nothing and we have the experience points That is a caravan. What is a caravan? A caravan, these are people that are trading. They are often attacked and they are a good opportunity to help the um, faction from, the, from what the caravan is. So if this caravan is attacked and you help the caravan, the fetish vine will like you even more. Same goes for the farmers. Only problem is the farmers are not very long living when they are attacked. So, let's go to the tavern, as always. Shields up, sword up, ready for battle. There's another drunk. And always let him draw first.
Good work. And we got another 50 denaries. There is a hero, Sir Yoclin. There are many knights. I think there are about six you can recruit. They are very, very expensive, but they're worth it. Oh, this is the merchant. We already know him. And let's sell stuff. Good. We can visit our mill if we like, but at the moment there is no need for that. And uh, I think we should use use our newly gained experience point for int. And now let's see what we can rise. We should rise prisoner management. Um, inventory management should be raised a bit because then we can take more things with us and I think we should rise surgery as soon as possible no, we must keep because when we drink the elixir of Akon this will go up too and then we'll be able to rise um, shields we do not rise horse archery we can rise the others we cannot rise, so there's no need for that. Then we rise surgery. Because later on this will be a very important skill to keep our troops alive. Believe me. We are riding to Windholm. Okay. We can take prisoners. More prisoners, I think, at the moment. Yes. Ten more, so we can attack them. Be careful, we must. Grammatics we learned by Yoda. So, we must be careful. You do not have to fight to the end. This is a very important information I want to give you in the beginning. If you're hurt too bad, you can always stop the battle and run to the corner of the map and if the enemy is not right behind you, you can leave the battlefield. Oh, this was oh, this was not good. That is really bad. We must be more careful. We are careless. These are dangerous people. So there is still one pig sticker. He can kill us because if you are attacked by a pike, uh, your movement counts against you. So, if I attack him with full speed and he uses his uh, his pike against me, his uh, spear, I get the damage of my own speed. That's real sad. You see, now we are wounded. And we are recovering very, very, very slow. Let's see what armor we found. We have betters. The arrows we found are quite bad. Okay. Oh! That is a god talking to us. And she says she's ready to help us if we are doing the right things. That is very hard to obtain. So, let's go to Yake and ask for a quest. They need grain, and we have grain. Seven packs of grain. I do not think we have seven packs at the moment. Okay.
Let's look at Tria if they have what we need. We must move carefully. Speak with the elder. Buy supplies. They have the grain we need. Uh, no, we're selling the worthless stuff. The grain is quite quite expensive here. Let's go to Yike and do the quest. Yay! We've got what you need, guys! And see, we get 400 experience. Isn't that great? So, let's leave and let's move on. How healthy are we? We're not regaining health quickly at the moment. And we do not have space for any more loot. Or have we character points for more loot? No, we have not. Do we need... Yes, we need a lot of more experience to get to next level. Let's go to Windholm. Always be careful when you enter towns at night. You can be attacked and they will kick your ass. And always gather grain. Gather grain is the easiest way of doing uh, quests. Far the easiest way to do quests. Grain's good, grain's good, grain's good. Let's go to the tavern. You know the drill. Shields up. Weapons up. This is Andoria. She is a hero. That is a Rakensky rider. We can recruit. This is Kasim. He's a hero. This is Lethdar... Uh, I cannot spell that name. But this is the most powerful hero you can get, in my opinion. He's a Noldor. A Noldor is a kind of elf. If you have read uh, the Cimmerillion, you know what I'm talking about. This one is like... Um, Legolas from... A lot of the rings. Trust me, this guy is a real killer. But we cannot afford him at the moment. This is Dief Woodison. He's a real good shooter. And this is Julia. She is uh, inexpensive. And this, I hope, is someone we can recruit. Yes. Oh no, he's a slave trader. And he sell, he buys our slaves at miserable prices, I must say. That is terrible. This is Sir Roland. We cannot uh, pay him at the moment. This is Julia. And this is DF. Well, while we are here, we can try to recruit them. The question is, can we pay them? This is a hard question. But they are very hard to, f hard to find normally, so it is not that bad to buy them at this moment. And they can be useful. The question is, are we better off alone? Or are we better off with the two? That is the question we must ask ourselves. Well, 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 this is a very, very hard question. We could have... Well, if we take them in our army, we will be slower. If we get experience points, they are divided by our number. But later on, we will, running or we will be running around a lot trying to find them. So we take them with us. Okay. 800 denarius. That's very expensive. But we take you with us. We cannot pay you, but perhaps we can pay him. He is a good uh, woodman. 
What? 4,000 dinars? You must be insane. And Andoria is not on the list. So we will not take her with us. Let's have a look at Julia. He is, she is uh, on the ground. She has no horse. This will make us slow, I fear. Yes, unacceptable. We need a, uh, well, it's a horse, a horse is a horse. You see, now we're moving with the speed of 7.4, and when we give her a horse, she will be more expensive in, but we move with, you must be kidding me. We are slower with a horse than without a horse? How is that possible? We are faster without a horse. I don't get this. I think it was a mistake taking her with us at the moment. Perhaps we should talk to her and get rid of her for the moment. And she costs 50 denaris each week. But she has first aid and tactics. What is your level, by the way? Level 10. See, she's much higher than we are. And she has trainer, so, so she gives us experience points each day she's with us. So that can prove useful. Okay, well, we keep her. Let's go to Ravenst. Oh, there are enemies. Let's get my mace. Got my mace. Let's hit them. So, now you will encounter the movement. I can give orders using the F buttons. I, I give here her the order to stay exactly here on the hill because this will enable her to fire on the enemy that is on approach. Our orders are simple. We're knock heads. That's our job. And we try to do that job good. we would have a much better time oh we must be so careful these guys are do able to do a lot of damage to us if they want to if they hit us with that cycle whoa did you see that she's firing on them but we do not want her to kill because we need the prisoners for money. So, we won. Very good. We take the prisoners. We are used to that. And now comes something special. We can talk to Julia and tell her um, how to manage her equipment. She should upgrade her armor her own. She, she should uh, uh, upgrade horses on her own. All party members should do as she does. And now about her weapon, her weapons. I want every hero to have a one-hunted weapon, a shield, um, well in your case a crossbow would be more helpful. A crossbow and bolts. Um, you are only good with crossbows. No, you're also good with archery, so... Uh, no, um, no, select me again. 100 weapon, shield, bow, and arrows. Yes. 
Let's see what there's in the item pool. There's no bow on the item pool, so we place one there for her. And there are arrows. She will take the arrows. And now I can tell her to upgrade on her own, which she did. So, very good. So, we're moving in that direction as fast as we can. Going here, buying supplies, talk to the village elder and ask for a quest. Serene, no, we're not escorting anyone because we're barely able to protect ourselves at the moment. Not speaking of other persons. Let's go to the marketplace and sell stuff. So, um, this way. What have we here? Well, we have no money for any equipment, I fear. So, we have no reason looking for equipment. We know what we do. Shields up, weapons up, ready. This is a ranger of the clarion call. What is that? That is a knight order. There are many different order of knights here. And later on you can choose one to join your course and that one will produce um, knights for you. Every order has a different fighting style. For example, the range of the Clarion Call are Noldor style fighting guys. So they have a sword, shield and bows and are very good ranged fighters. Um, why is this important? Well, um, if you go for Knights of the Dawn, they have a lance, a shield and a mace. You must uh, a morning star. You must look for what you like. But later on you can even in this, this is a special of 3.6, you can make your own order and you can tell them what weapons to use. That is really, really great. So let's see. These are young foreign nobles. Later on our army will consist of these guys. This is Riva. She's a hero, but we have no need for her at the moment. And this is another informant, but he does not have any informant informations for us. And let's go up here and look around. Perhaps there's someone else here. No, there's not. Okay, so we're done here. I end this Let's Play here and see you next time.